hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is your girl adriana dc today's video i am going to be giving you my top 15 fragrances for life you guys as of lately um you guys probably have noticed that i've done a few declutters because i'm at a place in my perfume journey where there are certain fragrances that i have discovered that i really love that i you know look forward to wearing like wearing like any and every single day and I just wanted to bring those fragrances to you as well as I would personally recommend these scents. I want to say these are my top 15, my absolute favorite in my perfume collection. And I would say like, I think these are really good scents. Like, you know, if you were like, um, obviously everybody doesn't have a big elaborate perfume collection. You know, the average person is going to have a few selections. And I would say to you, these are like the best selections that I can possibly recommend to you. Obviously, these aren't the only, you know, like, outstanding fragrances in the perfume industry. One, these are outstanding fragrances for me. Two, these are, the, they definitely do stand out. They're not the only, but they do stand out. And for me, they hold a very special place in my heart. They capture my interest and um, impress me the most out of all the fragrances in my perfume collection so these are the selections that i'm bringing for you today but yeah if you guys are interested in seeing my top 15 fragrances for life then by all means keep on watching if you guys are new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and make sure to hit that notification bell so that way you will be notified every single time i upload right and before we go on to the video i just want to take this time to say merry christmas and happy new year to you guys i have kind of like um christmas came and went really fast and it was a lot you know there was presents there was you know getting stuff started for the kids the house and you know linking with family members and partying every single day so i haven't had a chance to come on here and wish you guys merry i christmas. almost forgot to do that and i do apologize it's just that i'm trying to like roll like in between i should I say catch up after you know not filming for the entire christmas week so i do apologize but i hope you guys are having a very merry merry christmas i hope you guys enjoy you know um christmas day with your family and whatever it is you guys got up to and you guys are looking forward to a happy and prosperous and successful new year so yeah i just wanted to say that right quick before getting into the video now before we begin i'm gonna give you guys an honorable mention i have never ever given you guys an honorable mention on any video before so you know that term honorable mention so to speak but i think it's important because had that fragrance been in my collection it would be on this list and i'm talking about my beloved angel nova which as you guys know i decluttered this fragrance in the summer not for the usual reasons that people have declutters but obviously you know if you watch that video you saw that i went home and i saw some of my fragrances and angel nova happened to be one of them i wanted to mention this fragrance here because i felt some type of way it actually made my list a little sharp because i was like i don't have this perfume like i know i feel kind of i feel some type of way delivering this video without having that perfume back in my collection but i just wanted to highlight that to you guys this is what i would consider to be my um, honorable mention angel nova is a raspberry rich vanilla and woody scent it is beautiful it is exciting it is vibrant and it captures my personality you know just picture me at the carnival or on a boat ride drinking some margaritas and topless and i'll be wearing angel nova pretty much <laughs> So that's how I feel about Angel Nova. It's one side of my personality. And I just love this scent. It's a very exciting fragrance. It's by far my most exciting purchase. And, you know, it is a perfume that I definitely miss out of my collection, you know, after having, you know, sold it over my summer vacation. So that's my honorable mention for you guys. And while we're on the subject of personality, I'm going to take you guys to my very first fragrance, which I would say accurately reflects the other side of me. Because, you know when i'm not like you know vibrant and crazy because you know people personality does have different you know size or whatever at least mine does so one of those fragrances that capture my the other side of my personality and kind of like you know reflects the true type of fragrances that i would go for obviously angel nova is a very vibrant scent you're not gonna wear a vibrant perfume every single day you know that kind of way it's gonna be like a highlight type of fragrance but that one perfume that I, that just captures my interest my sense of style when it comes to scents in particular and my overall vibe and tone on a daily basis would be ysl lead now i do have the Eau de toilette and the intense version and i also had the ysl original ysl lead but i also sold that one again not for the same reasons that you guys not sold it i gave it away actually i gave it to my uh, my partner sister but 
YSL Leave is one of the like most beautiful Oxana fragrances in my collection and on the market. And it definitely captures, you know, my true sense of taste when it comes to fragrances, you guys. So while I don't have the original, obviously the intense is just a more like, you know, amped up version of the original. It is a bit more deeper, dark, a bit more sensual. And this one is a bit more softer and airier, not necessarily lighter in my opinion. The original is just a bit more, um, a bit more sharper with the citrusy elements, a bit more sharper and quite much more brighter. And, you know, all of them are just beautiful. And of course, these, this fragrance would be one of my top, 15 for life like as in like i can't see myself not having this perfume in my collection to the extent i can't even though i have these two i want to get back you know the original and i would actually get the le parfum because i just want to have it it is very much close to this one so i had you know i tell i told myself that i wasn't gonna get it but i really 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 do love this dna absolutely i cannot get enough of this fragrance i'm gonna say to you YSL Lieb, all of them are my most worn this brand this fragrance in their flankers is the most worn fragrance in my perfume collection this will have the most dense like the, the deepest dent or whatever when it comes to my fragrances out of every other scent in my perfume collection so my YSL Lieb definitely you know it's, uh, my top 15 for life in the next fragrance uh, the fragrance in the second slot from my Top 15 fragrances for life is Vanilla Diorama by Dior. And yes, this is a fairly new release, you guys. But I know what is wrong with y'all. What a bottle of sexiness. This is a boozy, citrusy, sweet, ambery, a little bit spicy vanilla fragrance. And when I smell this perfume the first time, you know, they sent me a sample in a purchase that I made. I went absolutely crazy you guys this perfume there's nothing no other way to describe it for me this is an absolutely sexy smelling fragrance it is sexiness in a bottle a whole shitload of sexy seductiveness in a bottle in my opinion i can't tell you how much i love 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 this fragrance from dior and i like to say I like to kind of round up, you know, the fragrances that I select um, as my top 15 for life as this. As you guys see, I love my Dior perfect collection. I love Dior. Dior is my favorite perfume brand. But these two fragrances that I'm going to tell you guys about, because I'm going to mention another one to you guys. These two fragrances, I would say, if you got no other fragrance from the brand, you got this, in my opinion, is one of the hottest. One of the hottest from the brand. And there are... There are a lot of classics, but then there's there are the few that excel above the classics that just like stand out a lot more above the classics. And to me, this is one of them. I know a lot of people don't feel that way, but this is a bomb, this is a bomb ass fragrance. This is a straight up vibesy ass scent, in my opinion. So that's vanilla diorama from G. So the third fragrance on my top 15 fragrances for life selection is Tobo Color by Dior. Now, this list has been constructed based on absolute love um, and respect, okay? There are fragrances that I respect from brands and I respect from perfumers. I'm going to say it like this. Oud Set the Mood for MFK is what Tobo Color is for Maison Christian Dior in my eyes. And how? what, what do exactly I mean by that? When I look at Oud Satin Mood, Oud Satin Mood is a masterpiece of a fragrance from MFK. I know people talk about Baccarat Rouge. Y'all yeah, know I ain't got nothing. I ain't with Baccarat Rouge at all. I'm not on that, you know, that trend, that wave when it comes to Baccarat Rouge and I ain't really care. Okay. But Oud Satin Mood, whether I like it or not, in my opinion, it is a masterpiece. It is masterfully blended, masterfully made. The projection, the performance is, I would say to you, it's an expensive scent that's actually worth the price tag. Oud Satin Mood is worth that damn price tag. Every penny. This big boy right here, this is, in my opinion, one of the most masterfully crafted fragrances from the Maison Christian Dior line. That's how I feel. I say this because of not just the scent profile. It's a very complex fragrance. You know, the honey, the tobacco, 
you know, the syrupy sweetness in this fragrance. Again, for me, it gives me slight nutty almondy vibes. It's sexy, it's sensual, it's dark, it's smoky, it's intoxicating, it's loud, it projects, and it's long lasting. I tell you, again, this is another hefty price. It's a hefty price tag. This perfume is worth every single penny. I respect the art or the craftsmanship of this scent and this of this of the blend in this fragrance, and I love the overall fragrance absolutely. And if I were to only have vanilla diorama and this from Dior, I would be absolutely ecstatic because these are two very outstanding fragrances from the brand. I know people rave about Gris Dior and Ombre Nuit, beautiful scents nonetheless. Again, those are classics; they stand out. But these ones, there is something a lot more special about them, in my opinion. So Tobo Colors make it number three on my top 15 fragrances. Funny. Next up is my Die Hard Fragrance for Life, which has been mentioned on my channel from day one up until now. And that is my beloved Miss Dior by Dior. Hello, you guys. This smells like a, a mandarin orange musky scent okay it has a hint of sweetness to it it smells like a perfume oil the rose in here so is exquisite okay this perfume smells exquisite it smells elegant it smells priceless it smells classy okay it's reasonably priced in my opinion but this bottle of classiness is everything to me there's something about again the blend it's something about the blend the effect of the fragrance people few people talk about this scent but this is just a beautiful fragrance. It's a classic, but it's a modern day classic. It's a fragrance that's appreciated by young and old, and it's still a hit. It's still a vibe. It's still, you know, it's never been like discredited. I know people talk about the longevity, but when it comes to poor performing fragrances, this doesn't need to be in that list. Let's just, let's just be real there, okay? This, it doesn't even, that's not in that list. But even if it's not beast mode, it's just not in the most poor, poorest performing fragrance, not even half really close. So, I love this fragrance. I respect the craftsmanship, the blend, and how this perfume is made. I am genuinely just fond of this perfume. This is one of the fragrances that I actually had in my collection before having a YouTube channel. This is a collection that I had before I even like set foot on YouTube. I mean, I've always watched YouTube that was into Chanel before, but when I branched out into other fragrances, this is one of my first Die Hard purchases that I love. I love, love, love. I have every single one of the flankers because this fragrance right here is an absolute love for me. And this will most definitely be one of my top 10s, top 15s for life. So that's Miss Dior by Dior. Next up, we have Love Don't Be Shy by Killian, you guys. And I think I mentioned this before, okay? Some of these fragrances, they've been on my, um, you know, my top 10 for life video. This one in particular and Miss Dior, of course, has been on a previous video that I did with my top 10 for fall, top 10 for life, I think. But I'm giving you guys an updated version because I have made so much more discoveries and I think you guys are going to be... I don't think I've drifted too far away from my original sense of taste, to be honest. But I have drifted a little bit. Or should I say I've explored a lot more. But Love Them Be Shy still earns my respect and appreciation. It's a beautiful, you know, marshmallowy, honeyed, orange blossom scent. Sweet vanilla fragrance. It's a beautiful perfume. And in my humble opinion, every other marshmallow scent pales in comparison to this one. And that's how I feel. This is one fragrance from Killian. It's probably it's probably the best selling fragrance from Killian, and it is it is so for a reason. It is a beautiful, outstanding fragrance in the world of fragrances, in my opinion. And even if you're just starting out and you're just starting your collection, if you grab this, you got one of the hottest in your collection, you guys. So this perfume, the scent profile, everything about it, this particular brand, as you guys know. Is again one of my favorite perfume brands. So Killian Love Don't Be Shy still earns my respect after all this time. Next on my list yeah. is Angel Shares by Killian, you guys. Like now, again, my list is constructed of fragrances that I absolutely love that I'm excited to wear. Like fragrances that no matter what, like if I only had you know the chat the option of having 15 fragrances in my life in my collection, like these scents i would wake up every single day and i would look forward to wearing them one number two i respect the craftsmanship of the fragrance and number three the uniqueness of the scents the out of ordinary vibes about the fragrance angel shares in my opinion is one of the most unique scents on the market i don't know about y'all i don't know why you smell but what i've smelled 
Angel shares this boozy, cognac, spicy, ambery, tanker bean, woody fragrance with a very prominent essence of cinnamon. It's a really nice fragrance. It's a spectacular perfume in my opinion. And why do I say that? Whenever I wear this fragrance, it is an absolute pleasure. The thing is about it is that even though it's um, Angel Shears, like cognac, and it's a fancy bottle, whiskey glass, spectacular fragrance, it's actually a very wearable and very versatile fragrance that I don't just resolve to be worn on special occasions. I wear it every now and again. It's an easy reach type of scent. It's an easy type to wear type of fragrance. It's a beautiful fragrance. And when you wear it, it lingers and it projects quite beautifully. It's not a beast mode by any means, but you know, compared to the other fragrances from Killian that doesn't really like jump out at you this one definitely has a lot more presence and i love this fragrance i personally think it's spectacular i think a lot of people you know just talk about it you know during the fall winter this is a perfume that i put for like throughout the year like i actually pull for this fragrance throughout the year i think it's a beautiful fragrance and i thoroughly enjoy wearing it i think it's a perfume that every person out there that's into fragrances should try or should at least have and not every fragrance is worth even trying in my opinion <laughs> So that's Angel Shares by Killian. So next up on my list is a very, um, a very recent, 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 recent discovery. Now, when I say to you, this brand just stole my heart. That is Southern Bloom by Goldfield and Banks. And when I tell y'all how much I love this entire fragrance, this entire range, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. And one of the scents that, you know, I love the most and I actually purchased from the brand first is Southern Bloom. And this is a very soft, you know, dry, white, florally fragrance with the essence of coconut milk. It's not too milky. It's fresh and airy. It has a woody presence to it. It's a beautiful, refreshing, a little bit dry, you know, white, florally, slightly creamy fragrance. It smells elegant, it smells classy, but elegant and classy doesn't quite sum up the way this scent smells. There is a, a diff, a, there is another factor to it, you know. You know, you know, elegant women play it safe. Classy women, they're just, you know, they play it safe and elegant. This is a woman that's a little bit more special, not just classy and elegant. This is a woman that has an it factor with her elegance, flow, and presence. <laughs> That's how I feel about this perfume. I think it's an absolutely beautiful scent. Something about the white florals in here. There are some elements in here so that are unique to Australia. And you get that vibe from this fragrance, in my opinion. There's something so spectacular and so beautiful about this scent. This is one of the fragrances. I don't know if it's because it's new or what. But every time I walk across my collection, I have to smell this fragrance. And every single time, like I'm telling you, I can bask in this perfume like every single day. Like it's not it's too special to be given the title signature you know scent but it's that beautiful and you can wear it every single day it's that interesting in my opinion you guys so southern bloom by goldfield and banks this is one of my top 15 for life i don't think it'll be falling off to be honest <laughs> next we have another bombshell another another bottle of sexiness in my opinion which you guys if you follow my channel you probably know, um, um, if I'm not talking about Vanilla Dear Rama, I'm talking about this particular scent when it comes to a bottle of sexiness in my collection. For most people, you know that bottle of sexiness. That bottle of sexiness in everybody's collection is Last Cherry, okay? Last Cherry, if not Rue Smoking, everybody refers to that as their bottle of sexiness. For me, it's Invite Only Amber 23, you guys. Invite Only Amber 23 by Kaya Lee. Invite only Amber 23 is a sexy, boozy, syrupy, sweet, honey, tobacco, cherry, nutty, almondy bottle of sexiness with some oud in hair. Let me tell y'all, something about this perfume is like, it's like the most intoxicating scent for me. Just smell it from the, this is like. I'm telling y'all for me again and i know when i first smelled this fragrance i didn't it wasn't like the best for me but this whew, i feel like this is like the best from the brand for me at least i love this perfume absolutely love this fragrance i think it's an absolutely spectacular smelling fragrance 
it is beyond a bottle of sexiness for me this is intoxicating this is date night this is netflix and chill this is booty call night type of sexy this is sexy all the way for me this perfume when i say i love this fragrance it is special to me it is spectacular to me this is a perfume that i can like wear every single day it's such an intoxicating smell and fragrance you guys this no doubt this is actually one of my favorite fragrances in my collection like like favorite favorite fragrances in my collection i want to say to you invite only and valentia rama is one of my absolute these are two of my absolute favorite fragrances in my collection you guys so kylie invite only amber 23 next up is from a brand that i discovered i think last year and have i been raving about these scents you guys you know what i'm talking about amir al oud intense you didn't think i was gonna have me a top 15 for life without talking about my baby this is a smoky ambery woody a little bit balsamic smelling fragrance you guys it's a beautiful warm sweet vanilla fragrance it smells like um smoky sugar it smells like burnt sugary yeah. a burnt sugary ambery smoky vanilla scent that's what this perfume smells like there is something accentuated in here so the woody and the oody vibes in here so you guys if it's one middle eastern fragrance you need to get your hands on it's gonna be this one you need to try this it's such a spectacular smelling fragrance i know people say it's meant to be inspired by by the fireplace it actually smelled by the fireplace and it doesn't smell as, as it doesn't smell as punchy and as strong as this one maybe it's just my mind maybe i haven't gotten a chance to explore by the fireplace enough but it definitely didn't blow me away this for me is a much more um it smells about most it smells a bit more stronger i'm thinking because of the oud the oud makes it feel the oud makes it you know come off a bit more punchier and a bit more stronger the woody elements in here so definitely stand out a lot more than in the fireplace that i actually smell so but this bad boy right here, out of all the fragrances from Latafa, you need this one. Like, out of all of the fragrances. And I have quite a few. I'm going to probably do a roundup this year to give you guys an update whether or not I still have these fragrances in my collection. But Amir Al Oud Intense. Whew. This is a beautiful fragrance. This is one beautiful Middle Eastern fragrance that you need to try. And this will forever be in my collection. This is the scent of fall. Out of all the fragrances in my collection, this is the scent of fall in my perfume collection so this is amir al oud intense by Latafa. the next fragrance in my top 15 for life is a challenging fragrance it's from a brand that i did not openly receive it's actually a brand from, it's actually from a brand that i despise when i just start you know getting into fragrances i could not tolerate this particular fragrance you guys anything from the brand as a matter of fact but when I fully, you know, my nose matured, as they say, and I explored this fragrance. Like, let me tell you, this perfume gave me a new attitude. And the fragrance I'm talking about is Tom Ford's Black Orchid. This is a, a for life. I think every woman needs at least one of the Black Orchid fragrances in their collection. You need one. And when you get it, when you try this fragrance, you're going to look at your shoes. And if you're choosing up to par, you're not going to like your shoes anymore. You're going to look at your outfit and you'll be like, is this shit hot enough? Like, is my hair looking right? Like, does my eyebrows need to be arched today? Like, I'm telling you, Tom Ford fragrances just give you that Tom Ford vibe, you guys. Something about this fragrance, that spicy, florally, you know, ambery, woody vibes. And this one here has a bit more sweetness. It is sweet and it has a warmth and somewhat of a, a fluffiness in the heart of this fragrance something so beautiful about this perfume this is my favorite of all of the town for black orchid fragrances they just give you like the most beautiful combination in this particular one in velvet orchid they kind of rearranged the notes a little bit and stripped some things away but kept the sweetness the black orchid is a bit more drier a bit more woodier and spicy and not as sweet this one is right in the middle it is a little bit more creamier warmer florally and much more sweeter and still packs a punch it's still confident this one in my opinion is still easy to easier to wear than the original black orchid as well and i could get away with wearing this a lot more times throughout the year i would pull for it a lot more times throughout the year as opposed to the black orchid one and i don't know the velvet orchid one i tend to forget about that one but this one right here you need at least one 
black orchid fragrance in your collection and in mine it's this one and this is an absolute beautifully made fragrance it is an absolute butler perfection it is just something so special that in the perfume industry you need you need at least one black orchid in your collection so this is black orchid by town four next up we have a fragrance that i went back and forth with myself for like a whole year and i tell you guys i met i studied and obsessed over this fragrance for a whole year before i actually bought this fragrance okay and the perfume i'm talking about is ala rose by mfk you guys like something about this perfume right here i tell you from the like i remember when this fragrance was released and i went to the mfk counter and i smelled it the day it came out you guys no it wasn't the day it came out sorry my bad it was the day they released the summer fragrances the array the yellow blue and white it was the day that they released that trio okay and i smelled this perfume right and i remember smelling this perfume and the simplicity of it all the elegance the crisp and cleanliness of it it just took me away you guys it was something about it i sprayed it on my hand and i noticed that it didn't last but the dry down had this like really nice clean pretty girl smell like a clean delicate pretty girl smell to the skin and i was like i love this perfume so goddamn much you know and of course i came home i did my research and the research the reviews and this scent oh my god if I had bought it, I might have like just thrown it away. I would have been like, I would have called the delivery guy and tell him, don't bring it back. Just don't, don't bring it again. Just take it back. Because the reviews on this scent is not that great. But let me tell y'all, this, the scent profile, out of all the rose scents I've ever come across, this is by far the best. It is a shampooy, clean, crisp, elegant, youthful rose scent with a hint of green it's a freshly cut lush green rose scent beautiful smelling fragrance no it does not last long the performance is not the greatest but within the first hour this perfume does project unless i just obeyed myself in it i've gotten compliments with this fragrance it wears beautifully on your skin and again within the first hour it projects so well i love this perfume from mfk as a matter of fact, I once labeled this fragrance my favorite from MFK. I love Oud Satin Mood. I feel it's the most respectful fragrance from Oud from um from MFK. But this one is one of my favorites. This one and Oud from MFK. Those two, in my opinion, are my absolute faves from MFK, you guys. I gotta have this in my collection. Sometimes you just need a light and airy scent to your collection. And for me, Ala Rose, it is that absolutely perfect, simple, crisp, and elegant scent to pull for, you know, on a really nice, calm, and chill out day. So Ala Rose by MFK is definitely making it on my top 15 for life. Now, these next fragrances actually fall in the same bracket with my MFK Ala Rose. These are three scents that I, like, contemplated and literally obsessed about for, like, a whole year. Sampling it over and under. And every time I smelled it, every time I sample it, I just, like, I want to keep on smelling myself over and under, you guys. And I finally, you know, bought these three fragrances. I literally bought them all three at the same time because I just had enough of obsessing over these scents and knowing that I really, really wanted them in my collection. And I absolutely love these perfumes, you guys. And the scent I'm talking about is Tom Ford's Bitter Peach. Hello. Like, something about this perfume. That spicy, a little bit... Um, bitter, sweet, creamy, sandalwoody, vanilla essence to this perfume. Let me tell you. The scent profile on this perfume, okay? The scent profile on Tom Ford Bitter Peach. There is something about this perfume. Now, granted, I don't wear this fragrance a lot. I think it is fairly new, right? It's fairly new. I literally bought it just before the summer. That's why. So, I haven't been playing with this fragrance a lot, you guys. But when I tell you I love the scent profile of this perfume, when it comes to all of these scents that I've ever smelled, this is like, I feel like this is one of the most beautiful scents ever. Like, as in like, ever. 
that I've ever smelled. I think Bitter Peach is one of the most beautiful smelling fragrances in my opinion. Okay, so Bitter Peach, I went crazy this for I went crazy over this fragrance for a whole year and finally added added it and it has made it to my top 15 for life. The next fragrance that I'm talking about is Rose Prick. And this one just it creep up on me. It was so weird. This perfume just kind of like completely creep up on me. I had absolutely no interest whatsoever. Now, Bitter Peach had always jumped out at me. You know, whenever you see, you know, Tom Ford fragrances, this Bitter Peach bottle, it, uh, this orange bottle always jumped out at me. This one, it was nowhere on my list. I didn't hear about it. I didn't, I don't hear about it. I don't see much people talking about it. People ain't raving about it or nothing like that. But I bought another item from tom four because i actually had i actually had the samples of this one before this one i had this a very long time you guys probably would remember me raving all right you guys probably remember when i talked about this perfume for the first time my collection i think this one the most best smelling fragrances in the world yeah i say that but yeah rose prick so i got a sample of this one and i still have the sample there because i didn't finish using it i don't I mean i find tom four to be very stingy that's a whole nother ball game I find time for it to be stingy. But this perfume, I had it there. Um, I got it with a purchase and I had no interest. And then I sprayed it on my skin. I was like, oh my God, this smells so good. Like, it smells so good. It smells like, it smells like a very like elegant powder. You know, like back in the day when people, when the companies just smell those, sell those beauty powders, those scented powders that, you know, with the powder puff. That you would powder yourself and you could just picture yourself sitting in front, you know, sitting on a velvet little, um, you know, chair, sitting in front of your golden mirror. That's the vibe, like Marilyn Monroe vibes. That's the vibe that I get from this fragrance. It is a beautiful, spicy, earthy rose scent. The scent profile on this is so good. The scent profile on this is so, 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 so good and... One of the things I noticed is that this performs better than this, okay? And I had to, I, had, I was, you know, I was trying to decide, okay, Adrian, which one are you going to get? Are you going to get both or this one, you know, or one of them? And I was like, I have to get both because every single time I spray these two fragrances on my skin, I constantly smell myself. Let me tell you, if anything from Tom Ford, I know a lot, a lot of people are going to talk about Lost Cherry. I ain't got Lost Cherry and I don't know how I feel about Lost Cherry. But these two right here are some of the most spectacular offerings from, <laughs> from Tom Ford, in my humble opinion. And these are my top 15 for life. So, as in, if I could only rotate between these 15 fragrances, like, these might even get special attention. They might get more, a lot more attention than all the others, you guys. I'm telling you, I love these two fragrances from Tom Ford. And this one is my die hard fragrance for life okay this is the first niche fragrance that i bought for myself and that fragrance is aventus for her if you guys have been following me you know this is the first niche fragrance that i bought myself before i even understand you know what niche fragrances are or whatever this perfume was my first love and when I discovered it, it was discovered with a record with a reputation of being like the Creed fragrance, like the Aventus for her. And I went out of my way because I was working in retail in perfume. And I was like, it didn't it wasn't sold at the place that I was at working. And I was like, if this is the fragrance of a lifetime the way people talked about it because you know people used to come and customers would come and ask about this perfume and i didn't know nothing about this scent and they would be like oh no only selvages had it and i was like i have to smell this perfume and i went down to selvages and i'm walking through the corridor and this lady smelled i don't know if she had just sprayed it or not but i walked across it because it's like a stand it's like a golden fountain it's like a unicorn horn sticking out you know in the middle of selfridges and it's just there on a, on a on a little like table on a like a stand and it's standing out for you that's how they present creed aventus for her and when i walked past the table the scent that filled up the corridor I was like oh my god i have to get this perfume okay this is a 
is a citrusy, dry, a little bit green, musky, woody scent. And I know my description doesn't doesn't do it justice. Just picture brand spanking new leather furniture with the slight crisp essence of a lemon zest. Because there is a lime in this perfume, but a very slight crisp essence of a lemon zest and clean, expensive leather furniture and that's what creed smells like it is not a playful scent and it's a it's an all year wrong fragrance but it's not playful by any means it smells expensive there's you know i'm not again a lot of these niche fragrances they got a niche price tag but they don't live up to those niche expectations this smells niche it spells niche the price is hella niche and this is one fragrance in the perfume industry that dissolved that title of niche. This is spectacular in every regard. The performance, the scent profile, the brand, the reputation, everything about Creed is untouchable like no other. And when I wear this perfume, like you wake up next morning and that shit is still prominent on your clothes. Like when I tell you it's prominent on your clothes in the laundry, it's like as if you just sprayed it. It's bomb. It's like bomb. And it's not obnoxious. It's just, it has that like, expensive smell to it just beautiful fragrance so create adventures for her will forever be my top 10 top 15 for life and last but by no means at least oud bouquet by lancome you know the name you know the bottle you know the reputation you know the stats i give this fragrance my utmost respect out of all of the lancome fragrances this one here is the best it's a oh, it's an oudy rose praline vanilla scent. You just get a dusty oudy woody rose vanilla scent. There's something so spectacular about this perfume. Out of all the oud fragrances, if you are an oud lover, you need it. It is strong. It's expensive, and it's worth every single penny. There are not a lot of fragrances in the perfume, the perfume industry that has a high price tag that's worth our that are that the scent profile matches the price tag oud bouquets does okay not many fragrances that do oud bouquet does you guys beautiful oud rose praline combination beautiful beautiful fragrance that i respect appreciate and thoroughly enjoy wearing i will however say to you that this is a very strong fragrance that should not be worn when the sun is shining and when the place is hot if you do you will get a really bad headache but this is in fact a masterpiece of a fragrance in my humble opinion all right so there you have it you guys i have given you my top 10 15 for life my most outstanding like most impressive exquisite like bomb ass fragrances in my perfume collection i do hope you guys enjoyed this list let me know which one of these fragrances are your favorite let me know if you guys feel the same way about the scents that i just highlighted you guys you know let me know like in my eyes these are like the best of the best out there like the best of the best in my collection to me like absolute the best and i like that I have fragrances in my collection that excite me, you know? Because a lot of people just get consumed with just buying fragrances, buying fragrances, buying fragrances. I try not to do that. These perfumes that I have, they excite me. Like, all year wrong, they excite me. So, there you have it. These are my top 15 for life. Again, if you enjoyed, please give me a very big thumbs up. If you guys are new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit that notification bell so that way you will be notified every single time i upload and for those of you who are my returning subscribers thank you guys for supporting me i truly appreciate your support until next time see you guys in my next video have a good christmas and do have a wonderful and prosperous new year bye